Now it will enable vSphere application for virtual machine. Okay. Our appliance is ready, and now what I would like to do, I would like to enable vSphere application for server one. So let me just log in. Server one is here. I will right click. And there is an option all vSphere application action and configure vSphere application. Replicate to a vCenter server, yes. Or a cloud provider, in my case vCenter. Same vCenter, not a different site. Auto assign is okay because I have just run the center appliance. Server run. Where I would like to keep it, I would like to keep it to. Uh, let's say. Data store 2, for example. Or data store 2 is A folder name continue use existing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, application enabled, yes. Target location, same format, thin disk, hard disk one, that's all good. Guest sync, yes, it will use shadow copy, you know. Before taking before performing replication, so will be all stable. Network compression, of course, uh, it's good for you know WAN connection or between different sites. However, it put some tax on CPU. I don't need that. RPO. Minimum is 15 minutes. Five minutes is in the condition where if you are using VMware Virtual SAN or vSAN. Otherwise, minimum RPO is 15 minutes. For me, I will leave it to default. I will keep it three for one day. And this is the, these are the instances. So every four hour means that I will give you three instances. It means I can recover data as long as or I can recover VM as long as 12 hours old. So let's see if it finish replication right now. Then three application means we have the current and four hour older and eight hour older. So it will keep three copies. So four hour for 12 means. After 12 hours, after 16 hours, it will delete the first one and create another one. So it, I will have just three copies restored with the difference of four hours. They call it instance. In some software, you will call it called recovery points. So. Both basically the same thing. And now it's configuring your application for this VM. And here you'll be able to see some. Yeah. Refresh. Here it is. Now it's performing the initial synchronization. So it's in the process of, of syncing. Um, I will give it a while. It will take a while, of course. And I will be back when it's done. OK. So replication is completed as you can see in summary, last sync point, which is awesome. And we can go to uh, recenter level.
with sphere replica under monitors with sphere replication we can see the status for under incoming replication server one status is okay and this much time okay it's against enable manage by vr test 101 and point in time we have given three instances this is one of the instances that we have and so far no recovery has been done so here you will find uh, details about it if you would like to see just at the vCenter level right the monitor and you see in the vSphere application you have these details I go outgoing application that's also for outgoing application because I have the same site for incoming and outgoing I'm recovering to the same site so outgoing application for this one is basically incoming as well for the same server make sense no only oh yes Ah, come on. Okay. On the reports, you will see the report. Uh, it may tell us that we have three VMs, and out of that, only one of them is, yeah, it's replicated. Um, the two, because we have two, one is the appliance itself, one other one server two, we are not replicating it, and we know that, and that's fine. So that's how you do. If you want to recover, all you have to do, you know, just here is an option to start recovery but for that we have just the power of the original one and one more thing we will need to create a folder this is VM and template right we can create um, uh, what is that? What's that? What's that? new folder I will call it recovery. Okay. So that because at the same place we can't restore or recover the things, so you have to create a separate folder for it. And you have to shut down the original one before performing recovery. So let's do something. Uh, let's try. Let's suppose we have. Well, not suppose. We know we have a backup. I'm um, not backup. Uh, we have already replicated the VM. We have one instance. And let's say just now. Just now something happens. Something silly happens. Some. Uh, new administrator or trainee has done something wrong and now the server is screwed up so what we need to do we need to shut down this one and bring back the replica luckily it just happened just now and we had just recently we have a replica so we would lose just a few minutes of that so what we'll do first thing first we will shut down the original one which is shut down yeah. application is not active of course how right because it's shut down uh, if the machine is shut down it can't be replicated keep this in Okay, and then what we need to do, we need to go to same old place, V Center. Yeah, vSphere application, incoming application, server one, and here we need to start recovery. So let's start recovery for server one. And how would you do that? There is an option here. See, start recovery, or if I can right click, there's an option recovery. So, same thing. Synchronize recent changes. Let's say if you want 
we swear to attempt to get the latest changes right now, at the moment, in time, at this very moment, from the source machine, you want to pull any changes, then you will select this option. But in my case, server one is already off, so it's no use. And let's say, for example, as we are playing the role that server one is corrupted, it's off, so I don't want to sync any changes. So I will go with use latest available data. And where I will select a folder the target site. So I choose recovery. Validation succeeded. Select a resource for cluster. All good. The network device for the recovery machine will be disconnected and the latest available application will be used for recovery and the right side did this power on virtual machine power turn recovery. That's fine and finish. And now it's recovering the VM. Let's see. And here it is. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Server one. So if I go to edit settings. And you say it's disconnected. All I have to do is just select this checkbox and it will be back in business. So let me select and OK. And let's open console. Ta-da! Here is my VM. My goodness. Awesome. Yeah, of course. So... Ping one nine two one sixty eight zero dot one and here it is my VM fully functional restored from restore point or recovery point or instance doesn't matter what you call it it's the same thing but if you want to use VMware language yeah it's instance it allows you to use to store multiple instances. In lab, we had just one instance. So anyway, uh, this is how you recover VM. And once you are satisfied, all you have to do is just get rid of the old one. So no confusions. So this is it, guys. That's how you configure vSphere replication. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. And please do subscribe to my channel. Take it easy.